Hello, my name is Jason Owen, welcome to my episode recap for episode 10 of Ruby Volume 3. That episode is titled, Battle of Beacon. And so we've reached the hit climax of the series with uh, Exender using her methods and her big plan executed right away with the Nevermore attacking the stadium, a bunch of other Grim attacking Beacon. And so our group has to work together, all of our hunters and huntresses have a decision to make, either to run away and survive by themselves or work together. And obviously, no debate on that. They work together to save as many people as they can. Uh, lots of our characters are pushed to the brink with the even the teachers and such pushed to the brink as well. Really badass scenes we see uh, as well from uh, some of our characters uh, here. Lots of great action sequences, really great uh, action for the Ruby franchise. You know, very reminiscent of the first episode, first couple episodes at least, when they took on that huge um, horde of Grimm uh, before when Team Juniper and Ruby worked together before they were working together as a team. They all worked together in this high uh, octane situation and very similar to here when they took on the Nevermore. In between episodes, pretty interesting as well with the world of remnants of the four maidens talking about how the four maidens came to be, how they got their powers, and it's very interesting to see that because the promise at the end that the four maidens will continue to meet with this old man who gave them their powers uh, over and over again each and every year. I'm not sure if we're going to see that character come around sometime soon, but definitely the fall maiden is going to play a big part in the next episode with Pira going off to see Ozpan, probably wanting uh, the fall maiden powers and obviously Cinder has half of her powers already, at least the majority of her powers and so she's looking to get the rest of the Fall Maiden's powers to um, pretty much uh, execute her plan to its, its completion. For all that, the Nevermore does attack Pira, who is in a state of shock after pretty much killing Penny. Uh, Ruby's obviously in shock of all this as well. You even get block characters crying in this episode here, but they all persevere. They all come together uh, to save each other. Uh, Team Juniper, Sun, Auburn, Funky, they all work together to th defeat the Nevermore. They're about to take on all the other Grimm, but the teachers, Peter and Bartholomew, they come in and they just take them all, all by themselves. You don't really see what happens with them, but still, Badass teachers uh, taking out all the grim while the kids move on away trying to help out Beacon and try to protect Beacon. Be and John, they try to tell Pira that it wasn't her fault and that they are determined to take out the person uh, who is behind all this. And so we'll probably have to see those matchups that we do see in the opening theme. Uh, probably uh, here of Ruby taking on Cinder and you know every other character taking on their uh, arch nemesis per se. Obviously, Blake is going to take on Adam at some points with Blake and uh, Weiss, you know, working together to help out the people over there. Even Yang, she's uh, on her own for the most part. You know, she does have way with her but still mostly on her own for the most part Blake and Weiss you know they do separate to try to help out more people Blake does end up meeting Adam and obviously she's in shock as well learning that Adam is behind all this uh this whole entire plan as well so very shocked to see that's uh there for her but she's probably gonna have to come to terms with all this and try to fight Adam Speaking of badass old people, of uh, sort of old people, you know, the veteran uh, hunters and huntresses, even the veteran military people, and Ironwood takes on things by himself, you know, taking on this huge uh, grim where his robots can't do it, you know, if you can't get anything done, um, you have to get it done by yourself. And so really nice scene of Ironwood, again, really well animated episode here for the Battle of Beacon uh, compared to, you know, other episodes for acting sequences, really well animated, a lot of attention to detail for this, for the most part, you know, in terms of budget restraints, you know, a couple of things here and there, mostly in the background. Out. didn't really look well animated but still for the most part the action sequences do get it really done well and so that's the most important part getting the action done right for the series Torchwick, you know, he uploads a virus taking control of the Atlas robots and so Ruby has to go out to take out Torchwick and also help out Ironwood as well just when things couldn't get any worse, we have this grim dragon coming in. It comes out like from a volcano or like a mountain uh, side, and all of a sudden, even more grim are spawning us. And so, lots of uh, trouble coming in for our teams here. Jean has to follow Pira uh, when she's trying to get to Ozpan, trying to you know talk to him, probably about the fall maiden. Cinder, we see her in the background, you know, staring down Pira because obviously she probably knows what's going on in the inside uh, there with Ironwood's information. Uh, we do have Glinda and Crow fighting in the city. You know, we have little. 
bits and pieces of them. Uh, they're mostly just them reacting to the situation for the most part there. Emerald is a very interesting uh, moment here with her where she isn't too happy about the all the destruction that's going on. You know, she didn't really imagine what it was all going to be like. And we have Cinder uh, being all excited about this uh, catastrophe that we do have here, all a part of her plan. Mercury is just along for the ride for the most part. They're just fil photographing and filming everything that's going on. So maybe Emerald might attack or just go against uh, Mercury and Cinder perhaps with her reservations. It does seem like she does have. And so that's going to be a, a thing to look out for uh, when you're looking at this uh, destruction happening uh, so far. A huge climax here, lots of things being set up for action sequences with Ruby taking on Neo and Torchwick. We have Blake and Adam, uh, Pira and John against Cinder. So lots of things going to happen uh, so far. Even uh, Emerald, she might go against Mercury at some point. It's a lot of things uh, to look forward to in the future of this series. Episode 11 is going to be a huge episode after this huge 10th uh, episode where everyone's working together to defend Beacon and work together as best as they can, trying to take out all the grim, all all the White Fang members and everything else that's going on as well. So for rating, giving this episode an 8 out of 10, really strong episode, you know, a couple minor uh, animation uh, issues here for myself, a little nitpicky for the most part, you know, all the action sequences were really done really well, some other things not too much, but they weren't that noticeable, and so a little more nitpicky uh, here, you know, the cliffhangers, they always leave you with the best cliffhangers in this series, and so really can't wait to see what happens next uh, in the next episode, and really see the confrontation between Pira and Cinder for the Battle of the Fall Maiden. What are your thoughts and on this episode? Part of your thoughts and pains in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to rate this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, share this video as well. Really helps me out. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching my episode recap for episode 10 of Ruby Volume 3. That episode is titled Rattle Beacon. Hope you have a nice day. Bye bye.